With the winter anime season of 2020 just around the corner, we are going to look at the manga to anime adaptation of Plunderer. In today's video, we're going to be going over what the anime is about, my thoughts of it, and the main question while you're here. Should you watch Plunderer? Coming up. Plunder is set in the world of Alsia, where numbers pretty much rule everyone's life. Everyone has this random number on their body of some sorts, which is their count. This count could be anything due to distance they've walked, whether or not they've been told if something is disgusting, and so on. These numbers are kind of like their life force, so to speak. Once that number reaches zero, that is effectively the end of their life, and they get sent to the abyss, aka death. For me personally, this number concept is pretty interesting. We've not really seen a, a lot of number-focused anime, so this is going to be a pretty interesting theme and, uh, and something that definitely gets a thumbs up from me. Now, a quick mention on the numbers. Every character, like I said, has this number somewhere on their body. And this, this is where Plunderer have definitely taken fan service. Uh, to Thor here. Uh, there's one lady, I can't remember her name, Big Booby Lady. She has uh, her number on her boob. So... Your attraction, your attention is straight there. Uh, but the main one for me is uh, the main heroine from the series, Hina. Her number uh, is on her very inner thigh, <laughs> like right at the top. So there's plenty of scenes where people are trying to take a peep at her number and it's just, yeah, they've really thought about the fan service there. Kind of, it can be awkward to watch, cannot be. Depends on who you're watching it with or if you're watching it alone. So take that into consideration, baby. Talking of our main girl, Hina. So she is the main heroine from the show. Uh, the show starts pretty dark, to be fair. There's a scene with her and her mother. Her mother's number has reached zero. And there's these kind of creepy hands everywhere. Uh, talking of hands, you like my hand gestures. Here they are. That are taking her mother to the abyss. These hands kind of remind me of like Kurumi's like clone hands and things. As Hina's mother was being dragged into the abyss, she gave Hina this item, this little blue ball, and said, and you must seek out the legendary ace. Thus, Hina's journey begins, and there's a big time skip to five years later, where she comes across this overly perverted guy wearing a red mask. And uh, no major spoilers here, and you're going to see this one coming, but this guy in the mask is blatantly the guy she's looking for. In terms of their characters, like I said, the numbers thing is like a, a brand new breath of fresh air to this uh, to this anime. and something that's gonna be quite interesting to follow. Uh, the characters, however, are pretty generic. So we do have Hina to start with. She is your typical shy, quiet, kind to everyone girl that, you know, falls for every trick in the book, pretty much. Then we've got our main protagonist, a guy called Licht, who is uh, the masked guy I spoke of earlier. He is your traditional Oh, O-P-A-F uh, main protagonist here. So that aspect, character-wise, we have obviously seen before, it doesn't overshadow what this series is doing. Now, with the first two episodes airing early on Funimation, we get a look at the story and the basic gist of things. However, we don't get a greater insight into these characters and what's happening next. So from what we've seen so far, animation-wise, it is animated beautifully. I love the character designs, the colour palette used is absolutely amazing, and the fan fantasy action kind of scenery just looks very, very pleasing. Soundtrack, however, I, for me, the music in anime, not just your OPs and endings, but like the actual soundtracks during the anime are a big thing for me. And with Plunderer, for me, it just lacks. There was some epic moment in the second episode and I just feel the the, the soundtrack didn't really kind of carry it through. I thought if, if, if there was a, if that was better, it would have like upped it. But like the, the scene in itself was awesome. Uh, it kind of reminds me of like old school, like early 90s anime, maybe. Um, the soundtrack. I, I don't know if you guys enjoy it or not, but like for me, that was something that was a bit of a con to this series. But like I said, the colors and the animation 100% make up for it. The character designs in this and the placement of numbers 
is awesome. May I just add, going back to the numbers quickly, one thing I did not mention is that Hina, our female protagonist with the high thigh number, number 441. I was like, oh, come on. Swerve that around, that would have been awesome. A bit of 414 promotion on uh, Plunderer would have been all of the awesome, but it is fine. It's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So to sum this up, the good things about it are, obviously, the number thing being an interesting concept that I'm looking forward to following. It's animated really well. I love the overall colors. The story looks like it's gonna be a good one. As for the cons to this show, obviously, like I mentioned, the soundtrack is not the greatest. I don't think we've heard the OP and ED yet, so I can't really, can't really nail down on that one. And our cast of characters being, you know, nothing, nothing new, but taking nothing away from them, from what I've seen so far, I have enjoyed, but you know, they are your kind of typical fantasy action characters. But the main question, should you watch Plunderer? Is it worth your time? For me, 100%, definitely check it out. I wasn't 100% breathtaking by it, but I'm definitely going to check out more episodes as it comes out. As the story progresses, hoping that, you know, it's going to get better and better. So I'd say for anyone that is a fan of, you know, your fantasy action, kind of anime, then this one is definitely worth checking out. But if you're bored of seeing this scene over and over and over again, I do think that Plunderer is not going to be anything different. Though the number thing, like I've said millions of times, which is a pun on numbers, may may I add, um, is something that is quite unique to this series. So I, I, that, that might be worth checking out just to see how that progresses and how they bring that into the show. But thanks for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed what I had to offer and share on Plunderer. Let me know in the comment section below. Have you seen it already? What are your thoughts? What else are you looking forward to this winter 2020 season? Of course, this is a brand new type of video that I'm doing. So let me know, how did I do? <laughs> Uh, would you like to see me do more of these should you watch videos? Uh, I thought it was pretty fun. It was uh, just a random idea. I thought why not? Let's give it a go. 2020, try something fresh. And I want to give a quick shout out to Warwick for supporting me over on Patreon as well as the rest of the beautiful bunch displayed on the screen here. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for supporting me. If you're interested in what rewards I have to offer on my Patreon, the link is in the description below. Don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and uh, hit the subscribe button for more anime content. Till next time my fellow weebs, peace!